Hey Libra, Everlong Mystic here. So today we're going to get you a Lefruma Shadow reading. And um, we're just going to get started, okay? I'm using the um, Lefruma. Whoa! What's that? Oh, for Lagoo. I'm not going to keep this because I'm cutting and using the top and bottom of the deck for these. But um, I just want to see if there's something in here for you. It's like something in the future. It's embraced, it's mirrored. It's talking about a mantle to wear. Like there's another mantle in your future. Hmm. All right, so what is it that you have to get through? What is it that you have to get through or to see in your shadow to get to that new mantle? That's what I want to know. All right. Shadow reading. Libra. Now, if that O for Lagoo comes out again. All right. So we have begin. We have begin. Fin again, begin again. Card number 18. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is after, this is after. I know it's it's funny because it says begin, but it feels like after. Because it's talking about the roots and the soil and like about your future. So there there is something in your future that you, you're preparing for. Okay, let's get the bottom card. This is like formula. It's kind of like bubbling and formulating right now. <laughs> Do you believe in magic? We have O for Lagoo. <laughs> That's hilarious. Magic is real, folks. All right. So what do we have here? Obviously, this is, it's like you're beginning, you're beginning to go towards this. And, um, you know what's kind of funny here, Libra, is that I feel like you are resisting a shadow ridding. <laughs> and, and that's bizarre because when I was, when I was pre-shuffling all the decks, I'm like thinking, okay, Libra, shadow. And I'm like, in my just personal brain, I'm like, yeah, like what kind of shadow does, could Libra have? <laughs> that's hilarious. All right. No worries, Libra. You have one. We all do. All right. So there's something beginning. So you are, you are, you are beginning, and you are headed towards a new mantle. Okay. Like it's here. We got it. But um, there's something after the fact. I don't know. I almost wonder if this is one of those time warp, time warp kind of messages. Like, uh, I kind of almost want to say foreshadowing. Is this a foreshadowing message for you? Like a future shadow? Perhaps a warning. I don't know. Because there's something, I mean, it's talking about the roots here. And how the roots are the same. The root, something about the roots being the same. And I, but I do really like how it says knowing that your future is assured because this here is that future energy. You have a future mantle to wear. But there's, some, I don't know, it's weird. It almost feels like a trick or something. Like, like there's something about having the same roots. I don't know. Let's, um, okay, let's, let's get the other cards out here. Libra. Libra shadow message. And this might be about something that you're embracing. 
because the overligo is about embraced, and I don't, I don't know if this was intended in the artwork, but it's weird. What I'm seeing here is I'm seeing this as like a head of someone, and this is like a, this white right here is like a piece of their collar, like they're wearing a suit and tie, and they're leaning over and giving this person like a woman or something, like a man giving a woman an, uh, a kiss or something. Or whatever, like, don't worry about genders, but it feels like two people embracing here. But it's, but they're, they're in the shadow. Almost like it's a secret. Secret embrace. Did I cut these? I don't know. I'm just, just gonna take top and bottom. Oh wow, you get this too. You have the shaman card, Libra. So whatever this is, whatever this dark embrace is, it's very important and it's very serious. And it's to be respected. It's like if this and it's and it's like this this whole like shaman card, it's almost like this is underneath Kind of like it's underneath this, this poplar tree, right? It's like there's a whole, there's a whole other realm underneath this tree, right? And it's the shaman realm. And it's, it's something about respecting the roots. And this, this card is 18, and this card is 9. I mean, they're both 9s. You've got 9, 9. Oh, shit, you've got 9, 9, 9. 63 is a 9. Libra, what are you doing? This is like some major alignment going on. And you are being asked to completely respect the root of something. Okay, so what's the bottom here? Priestess. Wow. And here we have an 11. We have 29, which is an 11. Um, she knows. This priestess knows. She's able to see in the dark completely. I'm talking like, like so dark that you, if your hand is in front of your face, you cannot see your hand, like complete and utter darkness, right? <clears throat> she can see. This is relying on your on your senses. <clears throat> There's some, it's like you're being called to adapt somehow because it does talk about adapting to relentless environmental stress. Wow, this is like kind of kind of big, Libra. I don't know that I'm actually capturing all that I'm supposed to capture here. I feel like it's something that's going to mean something different for each of you. Cuz so we have a, <clears throat> we have reassurance, right? We have re reassurance in your future. You will have a new mantle to wear. Something is, is going to begin, right? But we also have a warning about taking something more seriously than you have been. It's almost like there's this nonchalance <clears throat> or something that is, that will eventually be a detriment. Because I want to say that this here is is dependent on all of this, right? I don't know if this mantle. I don't know if this man, this future mantle for you, has something to do with darkness. I don't know, but what I do know is that it does involve some kind of heightened awareness here. 
Because it almost like this this priestess card, it reminds me of being like in a <clears throat> sensory deprivation chamber or something. Not that I've been in one, but you know, I can imagine. And really, it's like getting down to the nitty gritty, getting down to the root of something. And that's, it's like this, this shaman is waiting there patiently. It's like it's timeless, right? This, this shaman here is timeless. It will, it will wait as long as you need it to. To get to that root. All right, Libra. So let's get a couple tarot cards and see, is there any other message for Libra? Is there any other message? Whoa. Is there any other message for Libra? <laughs> well, that's nice. Ten of Pentacles. You're going to be successful at what? possible. Whatever this is, whatever is being asked of you, whether you're just looking at, at the root of some issue within yourself or you're, you're really digging into the bottom of a, a relationship, but embrace, you know what I mean? Like a, like a <clears throat> love relationship or something, you, you're capable. That's what this 10 of Pentacles is telling me. And, and you're not supposed to be a paying attention to time. You're not supposed to consider time with this. There's This is timeless energy. It's available when you're ready. There's no, there's no rush. So we have the Knight of Wands here. It feels like he is hurrying up. It feels like he's hurrying up to end something. And we have the Queen of Wands. Oh no, he's hurry he's trying to hurry up to get to her. It does have a slight message of trying hard to get something that you want. Trying hard to get something that you want. And then we have the devil. You know, this devil card, it actually does not feel like the devil. I mean, it doesn't feel like, I mean, <laughs> not that I feel the devil much. But, um, it doesn't feel like the typical tarot devil. It actually feels kind of like a rescue. It almost feels like there's, there's a part of you, a very, very dark part of you, Libra, that cares so much about you. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's weird. It's like your, um, it's kind of saying like your, your dark side loves you too. Okay. And it's there for you when, when you feel like you've had enough or you can't go on. It's there for you. And it's always there. There's something timeless. I'm going to cry. Shit. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna cut it off here. You know what I'm trying to say, okay. All right, Libra, this is your shadow message. <laughs>